So I've just put the coffee in the bottom and poured the water over the top. So it's super simple. We're not using any pressure like we do with our espresso machine. It's going to smell a lot more aromatic and light and free. And it's kind of those flavor notes that we're trying to capture with our filter coffee as well. My name is Michael Abushabaki and I own Cafe Rocco in Barrel and the Grand Arcade. And um, we've been there for 19 years uh, making coffee. And um, as a black coffee drinker myself, um, I think it's a great idea. Um, you know, it's a, it's a very nice light coffee, it's very floral. I've had a few people being like, well, who uses filter coffee? What's it for? Is this for home? Um, and the answer is, this is how I make coffee in my kitchen. Um, the answer is also a lot of really great espresso bars in Sydney, Melbourne, Brizzy, increasingly. Um, I'm sure the other major cities of Australia and definitely the other major cities of the world are starting to serve coffee like this more and more. Uh, and part of the reason for that is because it takes away, or I should say, it reflects more accurately um, the flavour of the coffee, the flavour of the original product. And think about what you can smell and how it might be different or how it reflects the little bit of ground coffee that we smelt before. Um, so for me, again, it smells quite sweet. Uh, I find this coffee to be quite aromatic as well. So when I say that, I mean that it's, instead of kind of tasting, when you smell an espresso, often you can smell kind of chocolates, you can smell uh, sometimes some woody notes, sometimes you smell, yeah, very floral. Uh, we're Bayside Angels, Cafe in Huskisson, and I'm Michael Stolhart. Yeah, yeah, it was nice. Um, I don't uh, normally drink uh, black coffee, but it was quite nice. Um, so this part is called the bloom. This is where the coffee is bubbling up and it's degassing. So this process is very similar to the process that makes crema on top of your espresso coffee. You know how you have that fine concentrated level of bubbles there? Uh, it's the same chemical process that comes from the carbon dioxide that's in the bean when it's roasted. Um, and then I'm going to be adding 50 grams of water in 30 second intervals up to 200 grams. Um, so my last pour is going to be at 1 minute and 30 seconds. And that's partly why someone said it tastes like coffee tea. Uh, that's partly why it has that kind of mouthfeel. It's quite delicate, it's quite balanced. My name's John. The business is Cafe at the Milk Factory, and it's in Barrow. A table of six people or so, after enjoying a lovely meal, not wanting to be rushed out and have somebody come to the table, pour and brew their coffees at the table, have a little chat with them, explain the process, ask them about their night, build a bit more of a normal rapport than a waiter would have with a table. And for everybody, sit back, relax, enjoy it. They're not in a rush out of the place. They're not in a rush for their coffee. It just adds that finishing touch to the experience of the night, basically. If you did want to have a solution where you're taking something to the table, um, there's a couple of different drippers and stuff that are very easy to do that with. There's one that has... Um, kind of like a one-way valve on the bottom. Um, so when you have the, the dripper off the cup, uh, nothing, no liquid can escape. So you can kind of brew it almost like a plunger. And so it's what's called an immersion method where all of the water is touching all of the coffee. Run it out to the table with a little timer, beeps at three minutes, and all the customer has to do is whack it on their cup. And it's just gonna drain out. So it takes about another minute, another minute and a half to whack it on the cup. Mm -hmm. So you can kind of present it That's looking really cool. nice. Like yeah. Being totally happy about being involved in yeah, yeah, it's interactive. Where I think my idea of putting it out the front, have someone look after just that um, and make a spectacle of it, I think it'd go brilliant. Um, so it's just kind of a really interesting experience. I think Barrel is quite kind of a, a foodie place down around here. A lot of people, Southern Highlands is known for being really nice, having good cafes, good food. And I think to be able to take people on a journey with your coffee as well, it's kind of a really exciting thing to be able to offer. This is just kind of designed as a bit of an introduction to filter, what it is, kind of how it tastes, and just giving you guys that idea.